back again, Last of Us Part 2, Survivor Difficulty, no guns, no damage during the encounter. Now, as I mentioned, it's not a playthrough without guns or damage, it's just during whatever encounters I upload to my channel. You want to conserve on your ammo, save it for whatever lies ahead. This is my first playthrough, so let's try and conserve what we can on survival. Well, first of all, hide behind that pole. Don't go too early, because a guy on the other end there walks past, he'll see you. When they walk past, then you can take this lady out. And she'll drop a heavy melee if you want to pick that up, if you haven't already got one. I prefer the bladed heavy melee than the blunt weapons. And uh, we'll come over here now. There was another person walking around. There's two people on this floor here. The other one's leaning against the wall here. So she'll get up in a moment. We'll just wait for that. Won't be too long. Come on, sister time's over. There we go. Back to Judy. This, uh, straight away when she gets off the wall, go up behind her and take her out as well. So you've got to be careful with the other side of the building there through the window. They can see you sometimes. So just be wary of that. Alright, so there are the two down on this floor. Okay, so now there'll be another two guys down below this floor. Now if you come up to the... There's a big hole in the wall there. Or you can just come around this way and there's uh, a bit you can jump down to. So... Yeah, these scars, you can hear them making that whistle noises to each other. So here's one guy here walking around. If you want, you can just jump down from the hole and come up behind him. He'll either come from either direction, jump down from behind him and stealth him out. Or come down this way. I just came down and stealthed him out that way. Now, sometimes these guys in this area are talking to each other. So if you do take one out while they're having a conversation uh, on opposite sides of the room, then the other one will start coming over. I'm wondering why he's not talking anymore. So if you want, you can wait for them to stop talking before you do uh, take him out. Alright, so here we go. These are the two done on the lower floor of this side of the building. Now this is the hostile territory playing Abby. Now what we're going to do is jump up here now and we're going to head across to the other side of the building. This building's cracked right in half. You don't want to fall down the middle, you'll die. But uh, we're going to jump across. So again, we know there was one enemy walking past in that route there before at the start of the clip where we took out the first person. If you take him out too early, you'll be seen. Make sure that other person on the other side there walks past when you do that. All right, so we'll wait for that pattern where she is walking in before we jump across, because we don't want to jump across as she turns the corner and spots you. So any minute now, any moment now, there they are. All right, so they're gone, we can jump across, and now we're gonna sneak up and stealth on them. All right, so she should be walking down this hallway. There we go. Sneak on up. Now she's not the one having the conversation, so we can take her out. But uh, you can hear another two having a conversation. They don't even have to be right next to each other talking. So if you hear them talking to each other, just be wary before you take one of them out or else you'll start whistling. Alright, so here's one here. I don't know what her pattern is. Nope, she's not coming in. Otherwise, we would have had to do full melee mayhem on her. Someone can see me. I can hear it. There we go. Cover's blown. Stealth is out of the game now. Shots fired. Let's go. Safe spot. Doesn't take too long before you lose. Before they lose where you are. If you go prone again. Now there is one. Once you get detected, there's this one of these big guys with a big heavy melee. They'll start running towards as well where you are. So get ready to take him on. So he's going to be the next guy that's going to come in. Because uh, as soon as the commotion starts, here he comes. Bang! Use a heavy melee on these guys if you can. I've only got three notches on this knife. So we'll slash at him, dodge his swings. He'll do a double sw uh, swing at you sometimes. So make sure you dodge twice. I've lost my heavy melee now, so it's all fists of fury now. Against a heavy pickaxe. That's it. Smack, punch, kick, smack, jab. Oh, he's got me by the neck. He's thrown me. But we can dodge. So remember the time you dodges with this guy, and he's out. Alright, we'll take that heavy melee. Now, someone took a pot shot at me here while we're taking him. I'm gonna see where they went. Alright. Fists of fury on those bigger guys. But if you can, use a heavy melee on them. And like I said, look, if you want to go all guns blazing. But we're conserving all our ammo to see what lies ahead. Alright, someone can see me. There you go. Cover's done again. Where did they see me? Come on. We'll keep prone and move away from that position and they should lose track of me again so luckily there are no dogs in this area 
where they can uh, sniff you down. Alright, here we go. I can hear someone talking. Try and get that camera angle on all entrances to see if anyone walks past. You don't want any of them flanking you. But by the sounds of what they were saying, they've lost track of me again. Alright, so we'll just find where they are. You can quickly run through this area if you really want to. You just got to go straight ahead down there and slide down a mud track. But, look, we want to take these crazy cultists out. Crazy cult people. Alright, there's a whistle. Alright, come on guys, there we go. So she's walking down that way, we'll flank her. Here we go. Sneak on up, get your stealth kill ready. You we have a choice of a stealth kill. Here we go. Choke her out. Okay. Now, I think I'll pick up that smaller melee with a bit more notches on it. Plus that heavy pickaxe is a bit of a slower swing. Alright, so I'm pretty sure there's one more person. Now when the scars discover one of the other scars bodies that you've taken out, they'll go into this long crazy whistle animation. So um, that's another opportunity to come on up behind them and taking them out. I can hear someone jumping around. So keep an ear out as well because you can hear them when they jump up or down or across you'll hear that okay where did this guy go come on buddy come out of your little hiding spot ah oh, there he is okay so if I knew that was the last guy I would have jumped down and just took him out but we don't know so I want to try and take him out quietly alright buddy you're done there you go and I'm pretty sure that is everyone in this area. So there you go. Hostile territory. Ah, oh, no. Look, there is another guy. And I think he's seen his buddy down there. He's coming across to investigate. So if he's going to walk over there, we're going to flank him as well. Alright. There you go. There's that crazy long whistle they do when they discover one of their own taken down. And that's when we move in and take him down. Alright, sorry buddy. You're out of the game as well. Okay, there you go. Another crazy cultist, cultural scar, or seraphites, whatever you want to call them. But uh, look, that's another episode down. Hope you've been enjoying my videos. Uh, there'll be a lot more to come. Check out my channel. Got all sorts of videos happening there from other games as well. Boss tip guides. But uh, hey, look, consider subscribing, and I uh, hope to see you all next time.